Sarah wrote a beautiful tribute to you. Aunt Kelly helped her. Well, that was probably the last thing they did together, except fight. So now, Kelly's name is uh, on the masthead of the son as the publisher, and Blair is pushing to the banner. And they're pulling each other's hair out over Max Holden. Oh, my darling, I wish you were here. You'd give me some direction, wouldn't you? Of course, I'd ignore it. But then eventually I'd try it. Because whatever else you were, you were a healer. You healed my loneliness, my heart, my soul. Oh, Mel, since you left me, my whole family's just falling apart. Cassie's off in Switzerland recuperating. I, I keep Kelly out of the house. I don't know why. She and Blair are all I have left. I've got to find some way to bring my family back together again. I have to get Kelly to come back home. It's not too late. Why, Kelly? Uh, it's a big surprise to see you here. I stop by in the morning before the office. It's quiet, so I can collect my thoughts. I light a candle for Mel sometimes. You look beautiful. Thank you. I know you must hate the outfit. Oh, my God. You're beautiful. You remember I chose you as the model for the face of Melador. Which went out of business? It certainly wasn't your fault. Oh, those were the good old days. I barely remember it was so long ago. Kelly, come home. Please come home. It's where you belong. How come you threw me out? Those were awful times for us. We were both raw and vulnerable. We both said things that we didn't mean. I didn't. As I remember, all I did was say I wouldn't publish your article in my paper. I thought it was self-serving, and it really You're wouldn't right. benefit it. Excuse me? Yes. And I realize now that my vendetta against Vicky is useless. That's why I, I went to her, and I held out the hand of peace. Really? Yes. Peace and friendship, and she did not have the grace to accept it. But I'm not going to let that deter me from my number one priority, which is bringing my family back together again. But I need you home for that. I mean, how can we possibly work out our differences unless we sit down to breakfast together in the morning? Well, we argue all the time. We argue at the breakfast table, Dorian. We'll work it out. I promise you. I mean, we'll... We'll love each other. Yes, we'll argue, but we'll make up and we'll, we'll be a family again. We, we are all we need. You certainly don't need a man like Max Holden. <sighs> that's what this is about, isn't it? Sure, that's why you want the old times back, because that's when you control everything and everyone. trying to control you. Hey, I can barely control myself. Oh. <laughs> you can say that again. So you know what? You have absolutely no problem with me and Max. 
I'm worried about you, but there's a big difference between that and trying to control you. Oh, okay, not when you do it. I am very concerned about the choices you're making. Because they're not choices that you have made for me. I certainly wouldn't choose Max Holden for you. Why? What's the problem with Max? Uh, he's very cynical. Uh, he's absolutely dissolute. I think he's fun. He's too old for you. I don't care. I haven't noticed that, at least not in the areas that it counts. I can take care of myself, Aunt Dorian. Oh, really, can you? Mm -hmm. I, I, I had a little uh, discussion with Joey. He's very concerned about the way you've been acting. I'm telling you... Joey! Joey. Yes, that Joey, you went behind my back with Joey? Not do you any... I, that's ridiculous! You interfere with Joey when I was with him. You interfere with Drew when I was with him. Not with him. No, not with him. Let's see, you simply conspired with Blair to take the money that was left to me. But we weren't going to take the money. We were borrowing it. I mean, you said we were stealing it or something. I mean, my, my intention was only to, to borrow it. Dorian, we always have good intentions. If you could only mold little Kelly the way that you would want her to be, hmm? Well, you know what, Dorian? The joke is on you. Because the night that you turned me out, you set me free. And I've been working real hard, and I've been real busy trying to find out the person I'm supposed to be. And I'm not going to let you or Blair or anyone else get in my way. You got it? Kelly, I love you the way you are. Hi. Where's Max Holden? Out. Mm -hmm. Out with my niece, no doubt. She's barely more than a child, and that vulture is preying on her. <laughs> it's like some sort of insidious disease eating away at the, the, the fabric of my family, preventing me from bringing us all back together again. I mean, it, it's infuriating. And why? Why? Why didn't you help? You did nothing to prevent it. You're supposed to be my friend. I thought I could count on you. Damn it, Dorian. You think you're the only person on the planet with problems, and you come running to me to solve them. Follow Kevin for me. Save me from a murder rap. Follow Vicky. Buy me the perfect cheesecake. It's always something. Do this, do that. But what about me? What do you know about me? Have you ever asked about me? Maybe I've got problems that need to be dealt with, too. I'm sorry. I never thought... Let's forget it. No. You're right. Okay. I miss Mel. I'm trying to hold it together, but I'm having a really hard time. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. I was a jerk. I need a hug. <laughs> Even if I was a jerk. 